Hey, hey, fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and tap in with Steve. You can see for y'all real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy here. But no matter what come out, fam, please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, the messages are always timeless. So whenever you come across this message, that's exactly when Spirit has it for you. To all the subscribers and members of the channel, I thank y'all so, so much for, you know, rocking and rolling with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Even if you're not subscribed, fam, or a member of the channel, I thank you so, so much for coming and viewing the message, spending some of your time with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. I hope y'all are doing well wherever y'all are in this crazy ass world, fam. Mm, personal readings as well as the memberships, fam, they are open. If you're interested, all of the information can be found in the description box of the channel. Ooh, child. Also, y'all go ahead and subscribe to my new channel. See what I see. Over there we do all individual zodiac signs. I even put the schedule in the description box of the channel as well. Yeah, so you'll know when those signs will be uploaded. I'm trying to be more consistent with the content, fam. So let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see the message that Spirit has for us today. <clears throat> if the message resonates, fam, please hit the like button for me. Well, let's get into this. I heard all around the world the same song. <laughs> so I don't know if y'all keep hearing the same song. It's like every time you turn on the radio, you hear this one particular song or something like that. That's because somebody is in their feelings about y'all. Baby, who is this person? Somebody's name is Eugene. Somebody is really in their feelings about y'all. Somebody is really, really missing y'all. It feel like nighttime gets there. It's somebody is it's like they're in their feelings. They they don't like you during the daytime, but nighttime, it gets really, really hard for this person. Yeah, Taurus energy here. So you could have been uh, in some type of commitment with this person or something like that. Yeah, this person is really trying to control themselves when it comes to this situation. Yeah, we got high priestess right here. Some of y'all could be a high priestess, high priest, you read tarot, spiritual business, spiritualist. Yeah, we got the hierophant to the high priest. Look at this. Spirit said both of y'all can feel each other's energy. Yeah, somebody, uh, you think that somebody is getting readings on you. This person is not getting readings on you. It's just their third eye is wide open when it comes to you. Yeah, but let's get it. Definitely counterparts, divine counterparts here. Of course, there could be some type of religious difference. But I'm not really feeling it in this situation. I'm not. Could be though. Yeah, we get the King of Wands, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. But let's see here. Also, Archangel Michael is protecting your business here. Yeah, look, the King of Wands right here to the King of, I mean, the King of Pentacles. I don't know why I said the King of Wands. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with your business, but it's highly protected here. Yeah, whatever it is you're doing, it's approved of. So, yeah, we got the King of Pentacles right here. It feels like somebody could be throwing themselves into work uh, to not have to deal with or think about what it is that y'all are going through. Yeah, somebody here, they, I don't know what this is. I don't know if somebody's a musician and they just like to build stuff on the side, fam. Or if this person is a, some, a part of some band or something. Yeah, it's heavy Aquarius Capricorn energy coming through here. I'm also hearing something here about somebody that it's like uh, collect some type of artifacts or something. So, yeah, somebody could be the type that travels around to different parts of the, of the world. I heard different countries. Yeah, we got Virgo Aquarius energy right here with the Hermit to the Five of Pentacles. The Strength card. Yeah, to the world. Somebody is wondering if you think about them. Yeah, the Ace of Wands. They're wondering where you're at, what you're doing. 
Because it really seems to be some type of distance between this you and this person. This could be emotional or this could be actual physical distance here. I heard something about Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. It's really feeling like somebody's trying to turn their feelings off so they won't have to deal with whatever is going on between y'all. But at the same time, it's like when they get by themselves, all those feelings just creep back in. Somebody try their damnedest to be strong. It's like take a deep breath. Inhale, exhale. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Things like that. Yeah. This is giving the energy like this three of pentacles. It's like giving like, I mean, five of pentacles, but it's three pentacles up here. It's like somebody really wished that y'all could work together, but it's something here. Also, spirit is saying opposites attract. So you could also be dealing with your opposite sign. Or it could just be y'all have a lot of differences here, but it seems to like it somehow work for y'all. Or it did. Yeah, we get the sun card to the ace of one. Some no, yeah, somebody's longing for this new beginning with you. Spirit is saying somebody was up all night long. Yeah, so somebody at work tired is I don't know what right now because they didn't get any sleep last night. Or whatever it is they have to do. Yeah, I'm hearing I'm it's T C or J C or something like that. Yeah, we get the King of Cups right here. Hmm. I'm hearing something about the yo-yo effect, though. So it's like giving somebody like in and out, hot and cold, things like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, this is somebody who could have just like um, left you out, left you hanging, things like that. This is no communication right here. But somebody definitely watches you. You have two different people out here, high priestess. <clears throat> it's one person that's trying their damn to ignore their feelings for you. And then there's somebody else out here that want to come and give you all the love that they have. <laughs> yeah. Two of ones right here. So, yeah, there's definitely a choice here for you to make. There is two kings out here. Mm. It's like things are up in the air with one person, but you are open to meeting new people. And that's what, you know, you're giving that vibe out to the universe, fam. And that's what's going to be right, brought right in towards you. You've possibly been hearing this a lot in tarot readings, and you're like, dang, when they going to come? It's close. Yeah, page of ones right here. Some of y'all, yeah. You're finna meet this person. If you haven't already. I don't feel like this is a past person that y'all, you know, down here. I don't feel, I feel like this is two separate energies. Like, seriously. Yeah, three of pentacles right here. <laughs> There's two set. Look at this. There's two separate people right here that's caught, that you're going to be caught in the middle of. And both of them have romantic feelings for you. Thing is, whomever this five of pentacles, uh, king of pentacles energy is, they're choosing really pretty much with the hermit to not acknowledge their feelings, not come forward. They're keeping a lot of things in. So how are you supposed to know exactly how this person feels about you? Because they're not saying anything. But there is somebody out here that's coming through, and I feel like they're emotionally, like they're emotionally outward. So that's possibly what the uh, opposite is as well. This person that's coming in towards you is completely different than the person that you know um, things are up in the air with or whatever this is. Yeah, some of y'all can have children with this up in the air King of Pentacles energy right here. But your ancestors are also coming through here wanting you to, to remember who you are. Somebody, your ancestors are reminding you that you come from a long line of strong, um, I'm not going to say men or women, I'm going to say individuals. Hmm. But this is also giving highly protected, and you know, Archangel Michael did show up just a minute ago. You're being highly protected from something here. Yeah. It's a net right there. 
This is kind of giving the energy, this strength card right here, fam, of your ancestors having a conversation with you, telling you it's like a heart behind her. They know how much you actually love somebody. Yeah, but it's something here that they want you to make a head over heart decision about when it comes to this energy up here. It's some. It's like... This could even be y'all that at night it's get like really, really tough. You know what I'm talking about? But just know that somebody else right here, it does feel like y'all are mirroring each other. Y'all see this looks like a mirror right here. Y'all are mirroring each other. It's just like somebody is not, it feels like neither one of y'all are speaking out. Some Both of y'all are choosing to let a situation go. Yeah. Only difference is it feels like you're open to, you know, new love or meeting new people and whomever this other person is, they are not. They're still closed off. So, yeah, let's get a couple of more cards from this deck, fam. Yeah, so it's like, I don't know. It's like some one of y'all manifested something and it has to do with new love. And it's coming through. But it comes, I heard it comes with a test. Something, yeah, there you showed up, Empress. Empress, high priest, see what I'm talking about? Your ancestors don't want you to ignore your uh your intuition. Yeah, it's about this this love. New love, old love, whatever this is, your emotions, period. So this is pretty much about you acknowledging your emotions over anyone else's fam. Yeah. Yeah, eight of pentacles. Your ancestors and your spirit guides pretty much want you to work on loving yourself. Oh, that can't, that's a lot. Yeah, cancer energy here with the chariot moving forward. It's like that drive, that determination. They don't want you to lose it. Also, I'm hearing enthusiasm. enthusiasm. So it's like, you know, uh, let me put these cards down for a second. It's like when you first separate from somebody, you're like, okay, cool. You know, woo, 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 the blam and woo, 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 you good with it. And then it's like slowly but surely memory starts. Somebody name can be Shirley because I tried to say surely. Yeah, but slowly but sh uh, surely. Those memories start creeping back in and things like that. Yeah, they make you want to take a look backwards. Your ancestors and spirit guides are telling you to continue to move forward. Yeah, it's pretty much like don't rush. Sort things out. Be open to things, you know, to, to, you know, new love or whatever this is. Be open to receive pretty much. But at the same time, continue to put yourself first. Yeah, we got tower right here. To the four of pentacles. Yeah, and we got the star card. Mm. Yeah, because it's, 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 it's about keeping your thoughts on what it is that you want. This is like the future. Manifest your future and let go of the past. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know who that is requesting some money from me, but okay. That's that kind of <laughs> thirteen thirty three, okay, yeah. Something here is significant about somebody right here. That I don't know if this is this person used to rub your your cheek, or kiss your nose, or something like this. Mm. Holy Spirit, can I get one more card from this dead? Yeah, this um, this new person, we need to see what's up with them. Yeah, and then we get the Queen of Wands out here. Yeah, also, thank you, Holy Spirit. Yeah, we need to talk about that new person that's coming into y'all life. Because clearly your ancestors said, don't ignore. Yeah, it's something going on here with this new person. But as for you, fam, spirit is one. It's like work on... um. Getting yourself back together. It's I don't I don't want to come off as mean or rude because I never try to trigger anyone in any message that I give. I simply just try to give the messages as spirit gives them to me. 
But spirit is wanting somebody to get back on their workout routine. I don't know if you had used to walk a lot. You used to go to the gym, um, whatever it is, wrestle. I don't, I don't know. It's something physical that you used to do. And spirit wants you to get back into that because that's going to make you feel better. Because it really get even though the strength card is in the upright with the five of pentacles right next to it, it's given that somebody has a lack of confidence. Yeah. So spirit is saying, get back up, get active, work on you. That keeps coming out. It's a time for you to work on you. So whatever space spirit has put you in, it's for your greater good. Yeah, because it's like in a certain situation, you weren't pouring into yourself like you could have been. You could have been more focused on, you know, the needs and of everybody else around you. But spirit is saying this is a time for you, your healing. Also, I just heard success. So whatever it is involving your finances, you see you go from the five to the eight. So your finances are looking, they're going to be looking up here soon, fam. But this has to do with you pouring into yourself, especially your creative endeavors right here with the Empress. Whatever it is you pour into, this is kind of giving like a 401k where they match dollar for dollar or something like that. The, whatever you put into spirit going to match that. So whatever you do, you're gonna it's going to get doubled. So, yeah, put the effort in. That's all spirit is asking you to do. We've been getting a lot of love readings and people in their feelings and all this and that. It's not time to really focus on that. Yeah, of course somebody is missing you. Shit, you the empress. You the high priestess. You Can't nobody top you. You're top tier. So, yeah, they're going to miss you. They're going to feel left out in the cold. Especially when you start to focus on yourself. Yeah. It just really feel like y'all be around a lot of people that suck y'all dry. And that's why spirit done put y'all like in this uh, cocoon energy. Yeah, because you see this is like wings. Some of y'all coming out as butterflies. So it's, it's important for you to be grateful for the space that you in right now, fam. Like for real. This is some beautiful energy. Yeah, but let's talk about this new person that's coming in towards y'all. Y'all know plenty about that old person. Spirit says some of y'all spend multiple lifetimes with them. So, yeah, you already know how they operate. I mean, I will see if there will be any communication between you and this past person. But Spirit wants me to look at this uh, this new person. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles to the, to the Ace of Swords. Yeah, clarity. The truth. This is definitely something new. But y'all got to watch out for people wanting to come towards y'all because they like the way that you look and things like that. Because it's somebody out here. You could be a sapiosexual. And you know, this person right here, they may say everything is right, but deep down, they really don't match your fly. Understand? Well, Holy Spirit. Yeah, the three of pentacles right here to the king of pentacles to the four of pentacles. Let's see. To the sun card, okay, okay, but let's see, Holy Spirit, what can you tell us about this this King of Cups energy right here? This this new person, yeah, this person is Ten of Cups. Okay, so let let's see, Holy Spirit, why is the Ten of Cups here with the King of Cups? But y'all already know where this is possibly going, right? Yeah, the Strength card right here. Somebody right here, they are they got strong. Uh, Spirit says strong genes. <laughs> so I don't know if somebody, it's like a lot of people in their family, they look just alike. So there's no deny, uh, denying their lineage. Yeah, it's like whenever you see this person, you're like, you such and such child, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> Holy Spirit, what's the king of cups with the ten of cups to the strength? Thank you. Yeah, Sagittarius energy right here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So we get Leo and we got Sagittarius, Scorpio. Whomever this person is, Spirit is saying this person could be going through a divorce. Yeah, so y'all be mindful of people coming towards y'all to get like uh, get over somebody else, pretty much. Also, Spirit is saying whomever this King of Cups energy is, they have they have something of a temper. 
<clears throat> so yeah, be mindful of that. <clears throat> yeah, the uh Yeah. But for the let's see here, let's get a couple of more cards on this energy. Somebody right here, this person, this King of Cups energy, I don't know if they've been in the military, but they like things a certain type of way. Uh, also, Spirit is saying. Yeah, I don't know what this is about just yet. King of Cups. Yeah, we get the page of wands right here. It's the, yeah, the two of cups at the bottom of the deck to the seven of cups. They feel like everything you can ever want and need, huh? Yeah, because I'm getting like, but see, the communication is a little off with the page of wands right here. It's like this person says everything that's good, but yeah, five of pentacles. It's like they don't follow through on shit. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no. Holy Spirit. What's the King of uh, the King of Cups? Yeah, the Five of Cups right here. Somebody is definitely going through something at this time when you meet them. So that's what Spirit wants you to not ignore. Cause there's somebody right here. They could be. Um. I don't know if this person is mourning the loss of a family member. If so, my condolences. This could be like a. <clears throat> A significant other right here. Um, you know, somebody could have passed away with the five of cups. We do got grief. If that's not somebody passing away, this is somebody still mourning um the loss of you know their family because they're separated from them. So yes, yeah, spirits want y'all to be mindful of new people coming back towards y'all to help them try to like heal their broken hearts. Yeah. Holy Spirit. I need one more on this King of Cups. The devil. You cannot make this shit up. Somebody right here, they you they don't look like what they actually are. So that's why it's a need for y'all to get to know people and not move too fast. Cause whomever this person is, they can have a drinking problem bad. They can have like some type of addiction. I'm telling y'all, spirit says somebody right here, they their yeah, their communication. They can be kind of mean, even though it is kept coming out as the king of cups. Yeah, then we get the queen of cups. This person could also already be married or, you know, like I told you, going through some type of divorce or separation, but still longing for their, their family. <clears throat> yeah. Holy Spirit. Yeah, look, the Eight of Cups comes up in reverse to the Eight of Swords. Some they they go to King of Cups again. Be mindful of this. I'm telling you, somebody is being real codependent right here because they're going through something that they really don't want to be going through. So somebody is possibly looking at you as an out. I'm not saying that's gonna resonate with everyone, but that's for somebody out here because it's her. Yeah, it's also guilt going on with whomever this person is. It's just right now, fam, I don't even know why this person right here is interested in dating because in the emotional, mental state, they're not, they're not, no, it's not healthy. So that's why your ancestors wanted me to look at this new person, this King of Cups energy that's coming in to a child because they look like everything that your ass could ever want, but beneath the surface is something else going on here. Yeah, a page of swords right here. Dig deeper. Ask questions. Yeah. Is this really like for you? You know what I'm talking about? Talk to your, your spirit and your ancestors. Meditate over this situation and see what answers come towards y'all. Mm -hmm. Also, I hate to call it fam, but I got to because I see it. Somebody right here, I don't know what the heck, but your, your hemorrhoid is about to flare up 24-14. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to go on and go to the grocery store, or to the drugstore and get you some, some cream or something because, yeah, it, it's going to happen. Mm. Yeah, also, some be mindful of somebody right here that want to come to y'all and just have sex. Yeah. 
Somebody will try to, I don't know, y'all be mindful of somebody starting to call y'all like wifey and you know, um, like telling you they love you and everything really, really soon because this person right here, it feels like they're emotionally unstable. And it's because of something that they're going through with that, with whatever this family dynamic is here. Yeah. Holy Spirit, what else do you want me to look at in this reading? Hmm. The true intentions. Okay, Holy Spirit, what's the true intentions? Spirit told me to switch these decks. Look at that. We get the two of pentacles. What's all of this that's falling? The two of pentacles to the seven of cups right here. Yeah, to the four of swords in the reverse. To the lovers in the reverse. See, that's what I'm talking about. Somebody here, they're not interested in a relationship. Yeah, it's like, okay... If, I'm just saying, fam, if this is you, take your time to get to know this person. Don't get wrapped up too quick because somebody right here is going to be like, okay, if you want to stay, you can stay. But if you want to go, you can go because I really do feel like this person, they heart is somewhere else. Yeah. Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus. Yeah, somebody right here, they're mourning the loss of another relationship. So, yeah. But you got to keep in mind that somebody, somebody is actually more than the loss. They did actually lose somebody physically. So, again, my condolences. But let's see here. Okay. Holy Spirit, what's the true intentions here of this person that my fan is coming into contact with or just met? Yeah, we got Libra energy here. Yeah, that's what somebody could be like ex-military or... Um, something like that. That's what I'm saying. It's something that somebody, it's like they got a career or they retired, but they do something on the side. I don't know what it is that they do on the side. Yeah. So somebody could be still working as like a security guard on the side. Yeah, something ain't right with this person. Yeah, ten of wands right here. This person giving me, like, dictator energy. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah, we get the seven of cups right here. This person, it's like, I don't know what's going on with them. Holy Spirit, what's the true intentions? The ten of swords, and that's the only fucking card that we need. Yeah, somebody, somebody is, they got some kind of something going on in the justice system about family violence as well. So, y'all, I'm telling you, get to know these people. Yeah, because look, the Hermit card to the Four of Pentacles. Somebody right here deep down, thank you, Holy Spirit. They're still very much so in love with someone else, but they're using whomever um, you are or whomever this resonates with in order to try to um, band-aid the, the, the wound that they're feeling here. It's, it's nothing serious. So, yeah, your ancestors came through on that one, like, for real. Yeah. If you if you have to, I mean, if you really like this person and, you know, you feel like they're worth waiting on, keep them as a friend if you can. But, shit, I don't know how you're going to keep them. No, I'm just saying, fam, okay. But, yeah, <laughs> high priestess right here, exactly. Use your intuition, fam. Because you're going to have a lot of options come towards you. You really are. Y'all got more options than y'all think. The thing is, you don't never really get out the house and go nowhere. Yeah, look, you just be in the house, watching Tarot, reading Tarot. Yeah, you just working. <laughs> yeah, but get out the house so you can meet new people and things like that. Yeah, because somebody, I don't know what this is about somebody. You got a lot of big ass dogs. If so, did some of your dogs just have puppies? If not, some one of your dogs, you can find out that one of your, your pets is pregnant. But you just might meet somebody when you get out into nature, like walking your dogs. Or this could even be somebody right here, you and your children, just like going for a stroll or something like that. And then you just meet somebody. But at the same time, fam, keep yourself highly protected and use your intuition right here. Yeah. Holy Spirit, what's this tool on? What's this tool? Okay. 
Thank you. I'm going to put the, it's the Knight of Swords in the World card, but I'm going to put them back because I don't know what position that they fell out in. Yeah. But it's a new opportunity coming towards you, fam, if you want it. If you're open to receive it. Yeah, we get the Wheel of Fortune right here. Some of y'all are finna meet somebody that's really good for you. Yeah. But at the same time, again, use your intuition. Because like I said, you're going to have several different people come towards you. And all of them might look like they on like king status. But Spirit just clearly said they're not sending you a king. They're sending you an emperor. I'm hearing all don't measure up. So yeah. That's another reason why a lot of people ghost y'all fam. Because it's like they figured that they could possibly treat you like they've done everybody else. You know what I'm talking about? Not pour into you. And it's like, no, <clears throat> that ain't that ain't what's going on. That's not going to work. Spirit is clearly saying that somebody needs to meet you on your level. Yeah, we got the world card here. Look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, y'all finna meet somebody. <laughs> this is... This is so unexpected. Some of you, oh my goodness. Whomever this person is, um, y'all already know because this person is a real catch. They have somebody that's stuck on them. Yeah. I don't want to call this person a karmic energy, but they do have somebody that's stuck on them. And it, it might be an issue because somebody right here, they want to they're ending something with someone else, or they've ended something. And they're, they're wanting to uh, start something with you. So, yeah, just be mindful of that as well. Yeah, you're uh, you're being chosen here over someone else. And that could cause somebody right here to, you know, all that karmic stuff to, that they do. Holy Spirit. Yeah, we get the two of pentacles right here. You and this this person that you're, oh, shit, I know. I'm best the nine of cups, I need. Yeah, you and this person right here, you're going to balance each other out. I'm hearing yin and yang. Yeah. So it's the summer and don't stop believing. I'm hearing Bethany as well. Yeah, Spirit wants you to not stop believing in love because it is coming towards you. Look, the Hierophant is here. So high priestess, your divine counterpart is definitely on, on their way. But it's important that you use your intuition because it's going to be a lot of options that come towards you. And they're going to make themselves seem like, you know, your person. And they're definitely not. No. It's kind of, I ain't going to lie. It's kind of giving like a shape shifting. Because it's like somebody's trying to make themselves look like something that they're absolutely not up under that that uh, that mask that they were in. Like, seriously. So, please use your intuition. Exactly. The moon card. Somebody right here, they're, they're hiding a lot of things. And, you know, you got to be careful with that. But, yeah, with this two of wands over here, spirit, if you're open to it, you know what I'm talking about? Because, you know, some of y'all, the blockages that y'all hear about... Are the ones that you create for yourself. Yeah. Holding on to old baggage. And what people did to you. And things like that. You got to work through that. Give it to the universe. And ask them to transmute that energy. Into something beautiful. Because holding on to old stagnant energy. It ain't going to do nothing but stress you out. And make you look older faster fam. Like real stuff. So keep that youthful, youthful beauty. Don't be letting these people stress you out. Yeah, but I, I see wishes being fulfilled. Your prayers are being answered. You you have good karma. Yeah. Some of y'all have put in the work. Others of y'all, you're going to get there. But you have to put in the work for, first. For? Somebody finna have a baby. Somebody having their fourth child. Wow. Congratulations. Yeah. This could even be somebody had their fourth child and like, why is this net bothering me? Uh, about five years ago or something like that. Yeah. Mm.
Y'all let go of somebody that, that couldn't make a clear-cut decision about you. Yeah, this person here, yeah, they threw your balance off in one way or another. They had you questioning yourself and second-guessing your intuition. Yeah, it's like once you release yourself from this situation, you know, trust the process, go through the feelings and emotions and everything. Yeah, that's when it was like y'all going through a test or you you were. Some of y'all, oh, yeah, buddy, this is a test. This is a test. To see if you've learned your lesson. You see, that's why Spirit kept telling, you know, develop your own intuition right here. Exactly. I always say, if you've ever gotten a person to read it from me, I always incorporate. Your, but your intuition, your intuition is your best tool. Tarot is a good one, but yours is always the best. Spirit wants you to use your intuition, develop your intuition. So, yeah, you're being tested here to see if you're actually ready for your divine counterpart. Or are you going to fall back into old habits with these old people? Well, I mean, with these with this old like uh, energy. I don't, I don't I can't say past people except for this one up here. Hell, spirit could be talking about them, but hey, whatever. But yeah, that's what this is. It's a test to see if you're going to uh, go back to this person because you're missing them. Or are you actually going to let spirit work this out for you? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Because, I mean, the, 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 the it's gonna, it can turn in your favor if you allow it. I don't know why I just stuttered like that, y'all. Mm hmm This is beautiful. So, yeah, I love the way the spirit shifted the energy toward y'all. It was, you know... And not on other people and things like that. That's a wonderful energy to be in. I like this. It, it's not as harsh. You know what I'm talking about? It's all coming from a place of love. Not from Karmicville. I don't want to go back to Karmicville. I like it over here. It's high vibrational. Yeah. Also, there is a need for somebody to drink more water or this is something about getting by some water. Something is significant to y'all about water. Uh, you, you, they keep pointing out water. And green vegetables. So I don't know if some of y'all need to drink more smoothies, eat more green beans and drink more water. Or if this is simply about getting back out into nature. Because I see some of y'all, you do need to... Uh, I heard touch, touch down. You need to reconnect with Mother Earth. Put your feet in the grass and things like that. Somebody's going camping. Yeah. It's something here about bringing love back into the situation as well. Yeah. Somebody, it, it really does feel like, and I got to tell y'all this because it's coming through. There is somebody right here. I don't know what it is you're going through with this person that you have a family with, but it's like they expected you to act in a certain manner, but you're not giving them that. Yeah. It kind of got this person like feeling um some sort, some type of way. You know how, you know, it's kind of like missing what, you know, not appreciating what it what you have until it's gone or something like that. But it's like this person is, um, it's like when you were with them, they saw a different side of you, but now they're seeing the more healed part of you. And then it's like, they want to be a part of that. But no, it's, that's why spirit is like, are you going to go back? Because whatever this is, it could, it could definitely take you backwards. And spirit wants you to keep moving forward, fam. Holy Spirit. Let's talk about this person up here and then we're going to get out of here because they made themselves relevant when we first came out. What is this past person, this King of Pentacles energy? Yeah, the Nine of Wands. Okay, so they want you to know that they're really going through something right here. Yeah, some of y'all don't... Wasn't this what we was just talking about? Learning from past, like what they did in the past, thinking about that shit, not realizing what they got until it's gone. So that's where that energy is coming from. Somebody is not speaking to you because they regret losing you. 
Yeah, this person right here, they feeling the loss of you right now. They wonder where you are, what you're doing. Do you miss them? Are you thinking about them and everything else? But it's something about when this person goes and looks at you or something like that, they see you standing in your power, how strong you are. You're exuding confidence and things like this. I do feel like it's making this person feel a little emasculated for whatever reason, but that's not your problem. Spirit is wanting you to do exactly what they said and keep moving forward. Whatever is behind you is behind you. You have to focus on what's in front of you, what's coming. Because you still got trickster energy coming towards you and everything else. You're a chosen one. So the tricksters are going to keep coming. But it's your job to, you know, use your discernment and your intuition in order to get them the heck away from you. Holy Spirit, King of Pentacles. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. This person definitely wants to come back in and express their feelings for you or something like that. They're still very much so attracted to you. Baby, this person right here, they ne they've never lost feelings for you. Yeah, somebody could be a Leo here. But it's like that, that strength. Both of y'all. So it's like a, I can't say it's a power struggle because I don't feel like you're struggling with anybody. You in your own power. But it's, it's kind of like a bumping heads but not really somebody wants you to be softer but goddamn just because you're standing in your power does not mean that you're being masculine i see you very much so in your feminine energy here i feel like you're in your feminine energy and it's just exuding but at the same time it's giving a lot of confidence this person is liking and not so much liking this about you yeah, somebody here, your body has completely changed as well. See, it's giving kind of superficial and controlling a little bit. So you really got to watch out. You see how this energy and this energy kind of mimic each other? So it's kind of like the same spirit, just in different bodies. You got to watch out for that fam. But it's taking somebody a lot to stay away from you. They definitely think about you, look back, you know, wonder, you know, what it could have been. Hell, they still want it. They wonder if y'all can still get it back. If y'all can work on it and things like this. But I really do feel like fam spirit is trying to push you forward. Exactly. Just keep going. Yeah. It's like this part of your journey you have to go on alone. If you have children, of course, you have to take your children. But this part of your journey, this person cannot come. Whatever test spirit put in front of them, they clearly failed. Yeah, they failed it. But you have a chance to pass yours. And here it is. So, damn. Yeah, the five of wands is right here. To the three of swords. This person up here, they're, they're, they're emotionally and mentally in conflict with themselves because it's like they're pulling themselves in two different directions. Their, their heart is telling them to do one thing and their mind is telling them to do another. Fam, this could even be you with the push and the pull. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you, okay, yeah, that's this person pulling on you energetically and everything like that because I don't feel it. It could be. But in this reading, I don't feel that. I just really feel like spirit is sitting you down with your emotions so you can fight it out, sort it out. We'll do whatever you got to do to get it out so you can move forward and not take this into, you know, the, the relationship that's coming in. So this is pretty much about with the Empress of the Ace of Cups. This is about emotional growth within yourself as well. Because most high sending you in a divine masculine, divine feminine. There is no need to look backwards at anything. Whatever is back there, it's back there. It can't affect you anymore in any in any uh, sort of way. Also, out of sight, out of mind. So if you're watching this person or doing all of this, spirit wants you to stop. I'm not saying you're doing it. Of course, there is somebody, you go into that person page and you know you check up on them and from time to time. I'm not saying you sitting up here just stalking their page. But whatever it is it, that, that you're doing that has you going from over here to over here, Spirit says stop it. Whatever it is that they're doing is what they're doing. Allow them to do it. 
Because when you're focusing on them, you're keeping yourself stuck. And that's not that's not the plan. That's no. So honestly, if you go backwards to whomever this person is, you're you're going against divine order. Spirit has you and somebody separated for a reason. Whatever that reason is to you, known or unknown, no, just know it's for your greater good, her fam. Holy Spirit, more on this King of Pentacles. Yeah, we get the Queen of Pentacles. You see what I'm talking about? And I just heard Mariah Carey, we belong together. Shouts. There's a strong bond between you and this person. That's how y'all still so emotionally and uh, I didn't mean to say emotionally. I meant to say energetically, but you could be feeling the emotions of this person. Like I stated, not for all y'all. Some of y'all heard it's uh, somebody it's like co-parenting, but it's like seeing you is it, it put this person in a feelings. I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you. They try, they trying so hard not to reach out, grab you, hug you, kiss you, something. But it's like they trying to keep it on like a business level. Yeah, we we co-parents. Yeah, but somebody they still have a lot of feelings for you. I don't know what it is they did to you in the past. I don't know. Spirit is not pointing it out, so it's not even important. The past is not important here. What's going? What's what's important is what's happening now, and then what's to come. But more importantly, what's happening now? Shit, today got, you know, focus on today. Tomorrow got troubles of its own, right, fam? Yeah. So ain't no sense in you worrying yourself about, you know, tomorrow. Just focus on today. I can't tell you what to do, of course. They, whomever this yo this past person your ex husband or yeah look the ten of pentacles this is somebody you have a family with or you actually invested a lot with y'all got some type of financial ties here again it's, it's a baby right there so there could be children there could be real estate bank accounts it's something here that you part y'all are tied together but again this is this is nuts. Because there's a divine, there's a soulmate energy, and then you have your actual divine counterpart coming in. So, yeah, I can see how that could be confusing to some of y'all. I really can. But I also want y'all to understand that love can be revamped. I don't see it here. But love can be revamped. Some people can change. And, you know, the wheel, when it turns, you never know where it's going to stop. All you know is it's going to work out in your favor. So y'all keep an open mind about that as well. Spirit pretty much just wants you to take your hands off. Don't try to control the outcome of a situation. And just let them do what they got to do to move you forward. To bring in your wishes. That's why it's also important for y'all to keep speaking to the universe. Telling them what it is you want. Keeping your thoughts positive. Yeah, because y'all, you know, it's somebody out here be trying to fuck with your head, but we ain't going to focus on them either. That's not what this is about. This is about you, your strength, your determination, your your drive to move forward. So, yeah, spirit is like, keep speaking those positive affirmations. Keep telling them what, what it is you want because they want to give it to you. They do. But there is a clear cut decision that needs to be made. Which way are you going to go? Are you going to allow them to continue, you know, like working with you to clear this path? Or is it getting too heavy where you just got to turn back and you know what I'm talking about? But either way it go, fam, you always got to do what is best for you. Exactly. Nine of swords right here to the ten of pentacles. It's not going to be easy at all because there's a lot of, uh, you know, time being invested in a certain situation. And of course, there could also be children involved. Yeah, somebody who remember this King of Pentacles is up here. Man, do they miss the heck out of their family? Cause it's like somebody all day they working to for for to take care of their children or their family or this is what they wanted with you or something like this. But now somebody's realizing that they're never gonna have it. Well, they may not. The decision is yours, fam. 
Now, I'm not telling you if you go backwards, you're going to be in this big ass hole and spirit's not going to have your back. Yes, yeah, spirit is going to have your back, but it's going to set you back a few footsteps. You know what I'm talking about? A few steps. You will, you will, because it's the two. You go from the, we had the five to the eight to the two, and then we got the ten. You're going to bounce back here. You see what I'm talking about? It's just, if you go backwards, it just might take you a little bit longer. Yeah, you may have to endure things, you know, uh, on that road that you wouldn't have to deal with over here. So really, the choice is yours. Spirit got your back. They're not going to stop walking or working with you. It's all about, you know, I heard something about a timeline. Yeah. It's, it's shit. You got it's, it's on you how how fast you get to whatever this finish line, this whatever it is you set for yourself. Pretty much, you're gonna get there. It's just like, are you gonna take like the the, the fork in the road that take you all the way around? You gotta go 19 extra miles to get over here. Or are you gonna go this clear path right here that's nice and smooth, and you get there in what 30, 45 minutes? Yeah. You gonna go over here? It's gonna fuck up your tires. You gotta get some work done on your car. When when I say car, I mean like your your stability, your emotions, and things like that. You are gonna have to like go through that bumpy road again and shit. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Well, you can just go on, go through her. Yeah, straight shot. Mm. Either way it go, you're gonna reach your destination. You just gotta figure out which road is worth taking, fam. Yeah, but anywho, that's the message that I have for you. Hopefully, it gave you some type of clarity, fam. If it did, check the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. I knew it. I felt it. <laughs> Personal readings are also open. If you are interested, all of that information can and will be found in the description box of the channel. Ain't that amazing how we can just feel things like that, fam? You, know, you just know something ain't right. <laughs> yeah. But it's always my pleasure, of course, fam. I'm sending you guys love and healing energy wherever you may be in this crazy-ass world. Put these cards back here real quick. And we'll most definitely get back up.